Welcome to Train Sim World 2, the immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as... You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right-hand side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The current speed will be represented by a moving bar. The red marker indicates the current maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are the brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving.
Marseille Saint Charles station is a major terminal station in the second largest city in France, connecting high speed rail, including international services, with local regional trains. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Voici à la gare de Marseille, Saint Charles. Welcome to the beautiful south of France. Climb aboard the modern high-speed express TGV duplex train. Travel at speeds of up to 320 km per hour using the TVM430 onboard signaling system to move swiftly and safely. Drive from Marseille via Aix-en-Provence to Avignon. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, hang TGV posters, restock first aid points, apply no trespassing signs, and repair broken cabinets. This is the LGV Méditerranée High Speed Line. Welcome to driver training here at Marseille. Today you'll be learning to drive this SNCF Series 200 TGV duplex in Camion livery. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations, so climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position because this is where you'll be spending most of your time. To begin, you will need to press the service retention cancel button to take control of this service. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, you have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. To activate the control desk, set the master switch to active. Now activate the pantograph using the normal and DC positions on the different rotary switches so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead cutting. The DC setting should be used in the area of Marseille the LGV setting should be used outside of Marseille. And the AC setting is used in other AC overhead line areas. The circuit breaker will need to be set. Now that the circuit breaker has been set, it will need to be armed. Use the indicated control to rearm it. Lighting is automatically set when enabling the master switch, but make sure you use the low beam lights when passing other trains so as not to blind oncoming drivers. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors.
Next, you need to do the brake test. This ensures that all the brakes are working correctly before you set off. First, press the brake hold. And now press the emergency brake button. Use the brake neutral switch to disable the brake lever, which will display... You can now re-engage the brake control by using the... Now that you've tested the emergency brake, you'll test normal brake operations. Then hold the train brake in the release position. Hold the train brake control in apply until the brake pipe reads around 4 bar. And that's the brake system fully tested. There are three driving modes on the TGV. Coupling and uncoupling. The speed is limited in this mode and is intended for coupling maneuvers. Manual control. This is usual mode for driving on classic lines. And selected speed. This uses the speed selector control and is used by the driver on high speed lines to set the maximum cruise speed. To get started now, select the manual control mode as you are on the classic lines. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. For this introduction, you'll be driving as far as Aix-en-Provence. Finally, press the brake hold button and you should see the yellow light go out and hold. The train is now ready to part, so apply. Keeping to the speed limit is important. If you begin to overspeed, hold the brake lever into the apply position to slow down.
You're approaching the voltage changeover area and need to change the voltage on the train in order to continue. You'll do this without stopping the train. Open and then close the circuit breaker. Lower the pantograph by moving the switch to the lower position. Change the pantograph modes. When your cab passes the REV board, this means that the rear of your train has passed the voltage changeover area and you can raise the pantograph. Do this now by switching the selector switch to the end position. When the arm breaker symbol illuminates, rearm the circuit breaker. This means you can now increase power up to the indicated speed on the TVM display. Nicely done, you're in good shape to continue the journey. You're now approaching Aix-en-Provence, so apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop.
Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.